Today, we're going to be talking about bloggers and professional athletes and how they're alike. And I know this probably sounds super weird and really out of left field, but stick with me on it because there is a lot of similarity to what professional athletes do in their life and what, how you can bring that into your blogging business to help you perform at an optimal level. So if you guys don't know me already, my name is Kate Waldo Jones from Kate Waldo and Company. And um, I have a free resource for you that dives deep into the how-to of all of this uh, in the link in my profile, and I'll link it to this video as well. But yeah, so what in the world do professional athletes and bloggers have to do with one another? They seem like they are completely on different planets from one another. And I, I was thinking about this recently because I was beating myself up a lot for how much I've been sleeping and um, that I've needed more rest than normal. And I, I came to this realization that actually the deal is that the reason I have been needing more sleep is because I've been doing a lot of work mentally to level up my business and my personal life. And just like a kid, like a little kid, when your brain is developing, you need more sleep and more rest, right? So you shouldn't beat yourself up for that. You just work around it to make it work in your lifestyle. Now, how does this relate to blogging? This, if you think about professional athletes, why do they get paid so much money? It's because their body is performing. They are able to create a, an instrument that for them, it's their body. For you as a blogger, it's your creativity. They're able to hone in on this instrument to make it so dialed in that they are able to perform at extremely high levels. And they recognize the value of their routines and the people that they surround themselves with, that that is what gets them to the next level, to continue to move up in the ranks, to, to be a well-paid athlete. Now, if you think about someone like Alex Morgan, soccer player, do you think that she just wakes up every morning and it's a new day and so, Maybe today she'll eat donuts for breakfast and go hang out with friends and maybe like have mimosas at brunch and then expect to play a soccer game the next day and play well. Probably not. Not that there's anything wrong with any of those things, but she, I can guarantee you, she has a schedule and she has things that she knows she has to tick those boxes in order to perform at an optimal level when her body is what is the thing that she's getting paid for that it needs to be really optimized, right? So how do, we, how do we loop this back into us as bloggers? When you have systems and a method for how you are doing things on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis, you're able to perform at an optimal level. When you don't have any of that structure in your life and in your business, you're not able to perform at an optimal level. Now, what does an optimal level mean? That means operating within your zone of genius. And for you, it's probably creating content, um, whatever that, that looks like for you. For those of you who are on here right now, I'd love to know what are your favorite types of content to create or what is your zone of genius? What is, what is your one thing that you're really good at that people pay you for and people come to your page and follow you for? Um, it, it, when you are filling your cup, you have those routines, you have that structure, you are paying attention to what can you tweak in your life and in your business to make sure that you are able to stay in that groove of being really clear headed, creative, thinking outside the box, all of those things that all comes with structure. You can't, it doesn't mean you can't have fun. You can definitely have fun. It actually makes it better for you. It makes it easier to have fun when you know that you've got a structure of these are the things that I need to check off every day. These are what contribute to the bottom line of making me profit in my business and turning up the dial on that profit. These are the things that need to get done. So I'm going to do those first, just like you've got Alex Morgan. I guarantee you she has an amazing routine before she goes out and plays a soccer game and the week leading up to it that she checks off. Okay, these are the things I have to do to fill my body, to fill my cup 
for us, our body is, it's not as much our physical body, it's our mental body, our, our brain, that we have to make sure it's really on point and that we're feeding it before we go out and try to, to perform in being creative, talking to our audience, um, inspiring, educating, entertaining our people. So that is why it's so important that we are on our game and filling our cup in that way. And, and Jill said, I don't always love creating content because I feel like my business needs me elsewhere. Exactly. And that's a perfect segue into what I was talking about. Okay, think about wh what Tom Brady does. So Tom Brady is known as one of the best athletes in the world. Now, how does he do that? He can't do all the things. He surrounds himself with people and with tools to make that happen more easily. So he has a personal chef, he has a trainer, he has um, people who help him with his, uh, you know, a therapist. Uh, he has people who help him with energy work, all of these things. Now you don't have to be a millionaire billionaire in order to have to have this kind of help. So what you do instead is you create systems around all of the parts of your business that are not fun and enjoyable to do. Um, like Jill was saying, uh, she feels like her business needs her elsewhere. Yeah. So what you do is you you create order and systems and structure around the things that have to get done. Like. Um, repurposing your content, creating those blog posts, uploading them, scheduling them, editing them, making sure all the links work correctly, your bookkeeping, your uh, paying your taxes, paying your invoices, receiving invoices, getting contracts, all of these little things that go into making the business run because you are, as a blogger, you are a business owner. It is, it is a business. If you choose for it to be not just a hobby, it's 100% a business and you have to treat it like one. So, so this is where I'm trying to say, as a professional athlete, what you're doing is you are figuring out systems for how do you make sure that everything gets done in your life, that you are showing up to practice on time, that you are getting the food that your body needs, that you are working on your mindset so that you are always in it 100% in the game. You create systems and, and you invest the time and energy to set that up around you so that it becomes like clockwork. Your brain doesn't have to work so hard to figure out what the heck am I supposed to do today and that applies to you as a blogger in that you or you have this ability to create these systems and organization and that's exactly what I talk about in that free resource that I have for you which is linked on this it'll be linked on this video and it's in the link in my profile so definitely go check out that free resource so about how you create these systems and this is why I'm saying it's so important that if you treat yourself your brain like a professional athlete treats their body like a temple and something that needs to be fed and nourished and maintained and create systems and order around it, you will be extremely successful because what's going to happen is you'll be able to spend less time maintaining all of the parts of your blogging business that, that have to be maintained, your contracts, your marketing, uh, repurposing your content, negotiating contracts, all of those things so that you can be working at a higher level of thinking and creating content that you're all the brain power that you would use to make sure that all those little things are happening. You don't have to use it because you've got a system, you've got automation, you have people on your team that are making sure all those things are taken care of for you. Can you imagine if it was game day for Alex Morgan and she was like, oh my gosh, gotta pay my power bill. Totally forgot, um, you know, I, and that starts to like take up her mind or, you know, I gotta renew my driver's license and, um, and that, that starts to take up her mental space when she needs to be focusing on getting her head in the game for this soccer game that she's about to play. We need to like give yourself more credit that you need to be thinking that high level that you need to have systems around making sure that that is not something that's taking up brain space for you when it's time for you to create and it's time for you to do these high level things like create, um, you know, whether it's going out and doing a photo shoot or if it's brainstorming what you're gonna do for your next brand campaign. 
have the systems around you so that you are able to perform at an optimal level. You're, you're able to fill your cup every day before you go and do those high level tasks because it'll be so much easier and it'll come a lot more naturally and your, your energy, your inspiration will come through so much easier when you have all of that in place. So I hope that this optimizing your life, your output, your business, makes sense to you guys and where where you relate on being a professional athlete give yourself more credit create these systems in this order and this automation around your business so that you can really tap into your highest level of creativity and now my dog decides to drink water and make a bunch of noise <laughs> but um i had fun talking to you guys today leave comments on this video and let me know give me a thumbs up a like if you liked it and comment your thoughts on on this and maybe you can tell me your favorite professional athlete all right i'll talk to you guys soon